Hello, Apple Bites. I am here at ChemFest with my dear friend Ashley. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, and I must say you have amazing artwork right here. Thank you. It's something I've been doing professionally, selling at Con since 2008. What is it exactly that you do art of? So I am a fantasy illustrator, and I'm also a freelance artist. So most of what I do is based off of animals and mythological creatures. So by any chance do you have a favorite mythological creature? That would be the griffin. They're half eagle and half lion. And why is it your favorite? Well, I've always I've always liked them for years and so I've always thought that they were as common as say dragons and unicorns, but there are actually a lot of people who have no idea what a griffin is, so that kind of spurred me on to creating art, like not just for gri about griffins, but into other mythological creatures as well. Are there any mythological creatures that always come to mind aside from griffins? Um, well, not normal mainstream is like dragons and unicorns, but other creatures I have in mind, they're kind of a mix and they're dragon-like creatures. Like there's one creature that's known as a tassel worm. It looks like a dragon, but they're known for having a long neck and a long tail, or a wyvern, which looks like a dragon, but they, no wyvern actually has any arms. They only have wings, legs, and a venomous tail. So it's just, there's just a whole kaleidoscope of creatures out there. So my art is just a way to get people to know these creatures a little better. And from what I understand, you also have an art book on these things. Oh, yeah, so I have an art book on the griffins, which in and of itself is not just one animal. They're known as half lion and half eagle, but there are different types from Egypt to ancient Mesopotamia to even ancient times in what is now Kazakhstan. Uh, there's a lion griffin, which is basically a lion in the front and an eagle in the back. There's a snake griffin. There are griffins that even had different parts like a camel's tail or a snake's tail. So, For our fans who would probably want to follow you, where could they go do that? Well, you can find me on Facebook if you just type at A Taylor Artist. That's A-T-A-Y-L-O-R Artist. Alright, well thank you very much and for all you guys watching, Hope you guys follow her and we'll see you guys next time.